Well, everybody, you know what time it is? We know it's spring because cottage life is here. (laughs) Yay. And all of you, you should be subscribing to this incredible magazine. Whether you have a cottage or not, the information in here is unbelievable. But I have one of my favorite ladies here, and we go back a long way, Mm -hmm. Sharon. And it's Sharon Donaldson from Cottage Life. And you're Title, content development, and marketing manager. Did I get that right? Yes, I do do a little bit of everything. Well, I got to say, <laughs> you know when we say jack of all trades? Yes. I'm going to say for you, Jill of all Jill trades. Jill of all trades, You yes. are unbelievable. Thank now, you. normally this time of year, I kind of go, how you doing, Sharon? How you doing? <laughs> right? Because let's be real, it's a bit crazy. Well, putting on a show is a big job. Uh, we've got five full-time people and a crew of uh, support staff that uh, step in to assist. And... Um, Funny, I was just saying with someone this morning, the question that irks me more than anything else is, what do you do the rest of the year? Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just it's, happens. It just happens. This three-day show just pops out of nowhere. Oh, wow. But um, amazing, it's a labor right? of love producing <laughs> it, these it events is. for cottagers. And you're brilliant at it because it is an event unto itself. And people forget, going to these shows, it is an opportunity to see all these products, services, ingenuity, I mean, innovation that is just beyond mm-hmm. expectations. The eye candy is is amazing. All under one roof. Well, if you try to do that on your own, you'd be a year trying to scope and spec and check yeah. out and talk to. And that's what we say is that it really is under one roof. It yeah. saves you driving all over cottage country, checking out this and that. We bring it all to one on one roof, International Center, three days, and it's really just the way to kick off the season, do your research, and get a project going. So we're March 27th to 29th this year, and because sometimes it would fall into like the beginning of April, right? Yeah, depending on where Easter falls, yeah. it pushes back, forward or back by a week or so. There you go. Yeah, so it's kind of consistent. We're right on our sweetheart dates we right now, end of right March. We are right there, the cusp of spring. Yes, we can feel the yeah, spring. That's right. yes. And I love it because it's that time of year where sometimes I've really messed up what I wore because I'm thinking, okay, it starts off cold, mm-hmm. and then it's like, oh, it gets really hot. And then other times, you know what, I'm thinking, it's it's warm, it's yeah. been warm the last two days, and all of a sudden that weekend it gets cold. Well, you know, that's that's uh, <laughs> springtime in Ontario. You, you know, it. turn around and put on the parka and put on the flip-flops. <laughs> so let's talk about 2015 Cottage Life Show. Mm-hmm. What are we going to expect this year? Well, we've got our biggest show ever, uh, more than 550 Do you exhibitors. know you say that every single I year? I do say that every year, but here's the <laughs> truth. The, the straight good, I don't know how we could get bigger next year. I'm going to um, say, yeah. The cause... International Center has completed some renovations over the last right. two years. And so because of the investment they've made in the property, we are really able to max out the square footage of that space. And so we've um, brought in a um, gorgeous model cottage, uh, more feature areas than ever before. And um, I got to say, the boat and dock displays just seem to be getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> so it really is exciting to see Isn't it coming together. So you're maximizing that space. We sure are. And we always talk about every year. We know that, you know, if you're looking at real estate, there's a whole real estate division there. If you're looking at products and services, even just knickknacks. Mm-hmm. And, and every year there's always that gotta have. There's yes. that thing that just takes off and yes. everybody has to have it. So do you predicate already what that means? be this year? Um, I haven't seen what it is this okay. year, but I mean, I, the last couple shows, people have been walking out the door with those sweepas. You is know? that right? I think they're two for 20 bucks and <laughs> everyone swears by the sweepa as seen on TV. And, is that right? And it's, uh, some years it's been the marshmallow roasting right. stick, you that. remember that? Yeah, for sure. And um, there was this one about five or six years ago called the crack cleaner and keep it clean. It's a, a tool that is used for cleaning the grooves in your deck. Clever. To get all the gunk out. I didn't and they get were that. a one hit wonder. They came, small business. We never heard from them again. But they did all right. They did all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many exhibitors are there this year? We're looking at more than 550. Oh, that's awesome. Um, it's, it really is fascinating when you see the small businesses coming in from cottage country. Yeah. And some of these really are mom and pop shops that yeah. shut down what they do up in um, northern Ontario or eastern Ontario. They bring their operation down for the three days of the show. And you know, anecdotally, they'll tell us things like, wow, we sell more in those three days than yeah. we will in July. Yeah. You know, and it really is amazing the support that we get from people that love cottages. So who should come to the show? Anyone that owns a cottage, absolutely. Got to be there. Mm-hmm. Um, anyone that is thinking of buying a cottage. There's uh, a couple seminars on the main stage about how to buy a cottage. Um, the tax implications of owning a cottage. Right. We have a lawyer named Peter Lillico from Peterborough, and he is a fascinating fellow who knows everything about capital gains, tax, succession, and splitting a property. Because if you're going to buy a property with someone and share it, you might want to have a pretty good sharing agreement Absolutely. in place. Absolutely. So let's continue on with that main stage. Who else can we expect then to see Main the stage, Colin and Justin. Uh-huh. Uh, our boys. Our boys. <laughs> um, the Scottish designers are back 
for another season of their show called Colin and Justin's Cabin Pressure. Fantastic. It airs on Sunday nights on the Cottage Life channel. Very good. And season two, they have bought what they call the Slanty Shanty. The Slanty Shanty. The Slanty Shanty. shanty. <laughs> um, they have taken this diamond in the rough, and it was very, very, very rough. Yeah. They have brought it back from the brink and completely, they actually did a raising project where they lifted it 12 or 15 feet off the ground, and they have brought it back from the brink of demolition. Unbelievable. Yes. So that'll be a good one. Now you have another one, Brojax. Brojax. Now these two brothers, Kevin and Andrew Buckles, are two brothers from Nova Scotia's cottage country. And they are a couple of characters. Um, they are not content to just sit around. They like to putter and invent things. So one of their inventions is the chair ski. Mm -hmm. It's a water ski that you sit on. And it goes around the lake. So they had to get the pitch just right so that when you take off, you don't do the face plant. So, and so all their escapades So are, forget about water skiing being an exercise. Well, no, now no, no. Back. No, you sit back. I'm pretty sure there was a drink holder in this thing as well. Say. And um, the, their show airs on Cottage Life Channel on, um, I believe it's Wednesday nights. And Brojects Season 2 is kicking Fantastic. off next week. But you also have other people that are there to Absolutely. talk about all things cottaging. So even Jim Carrick will be yeah, on Yeah, Jim Carrick is there and he's doing a seminar on steel roofing solutions for cottagers and nice. he'll be there Saturday at noon. Um, Chris Winnie is a cottage country realtor from Eastern Ontario. Yeah. So cottage country doesn't always just mean Muskoka. Yeah. You know, there's beautiful no, regions no, no. out in Eastern Ontario, out in uh, the Great Lakes, like Huron, Lake Erie. Listen, we can go south. And we can go south. Yeah. We can go all yeah, yeah. the way to like Norfolk County yeah. if we need to. P people forget yeah. that. Yeah. It, 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 and, and cottaging can mean different things in different mm -hmm. areas. I mean, Absolutely. that's one of the things when we were doing Cottage Life Show. Yes. Honestly, it, it evokes uh, it, being on a farm mm -hmm. near a lake. Yes. But they call that their cottage. Yeah. That, that so, retreat, that, that getaway. Retreat. It's the getaway. the getaway. And I think that it's is It's all about important. escape. Yeah. Some quality time, whatever your fine family dynamic mm -hmm. is, it's just about having another place to go to yes. uh, and just be able to enjoy enjoy your space and enjoy right. your time away, which is so, so important. And it's something that Canadians strive to. And, and that certainly that trend is never going to waver. But we're just lucky that in this country, we have so many beautiful lakes and areas that we have people coming from around the world. Absolutely. To, to take advantage yes. of, of what we take for granted, yeah. I think, right? And um, we're seeing that trend in cottage real estate that um, people are coming from Europe, yeah. um, certainly into the Maritimes. They're coming from Germany, they're coming from England, and um, you know they're purchasing a property. They may or may not rent it out. Um, sometimes it just sits until that family chooses to use it. Mm -hmm. And I know on the West Coast as well at um, Vancouver recreational properties, a lot of them are starting to um, get interest from foreign owners. And what's so amazing is how the architecture and design elements mm -hmm. is just so uniquely different across yes. Canada when we talk about cottaging. Now talking about design, well I know cottage life now has a furniture line. Yes. So talk more about yes. that. Um, we have just launched the Cottage Life Weekend Collection. Wow. And it's a furniture line, um, a line that encompasses furniture, uh, food, and um, accessories. And so what we've done is we've uh, worked with a number of manufacturers to um, create a line that really speaks to our values, you know, is is it well constructed? Is it environmentally friendly? So FSC sourced um, wood, and then um, we've turned it over to Carl Loans, who's a well-known designer. Right. Um, he's our design consultant. Worked with us on color palettes and selections, and then those manufacturers in turn sell to retailers. So Cottage Life per se isn't selling the table but it's going to be available bed. it's available at, at the cottage life retails. show okay and then it's available at retailers all over canada so will there be a good for those of us that are going to come out of course and we're going to do a, a, a you know some mm -hmm. features at the at the cottage show and you always know we're going to do some crazy stuff but have some fun <laughs> and what that, that's what it's all about will we be able to get a, a good taste and a teaser oh yes of the furniture there? we've got a full showroom set up right. of what the whole line looks like and then from there you can walk around the corner talk to the exhibitor that's actually selling it and um, put, put in the order. Well, Sharon, talk to the easiness in terms of getting tickets. Uh, how much is it? Is it family friendly? It's definitely family friendly. Right. Um, the cottaging is a family activity. Of course. Um, it's all about bringing multiple generations together. So we often get, you know, the grandparents, the parents, and the little ones coming out to the show. The um, little ones, there's a space called the Family Activity mm, Center. Good. And there's also two hours of free child minding. So if you need a little time away from your little critters to go buy a boat <laughs> or talk to a builder, yeah. we've got you covered. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And again, price points to get in now? And we're $18 for adults, mm -hmm. um, senior special on Friday only. Um, kids mm -hmm. under 12 are free. Nice. And there's also a weekend pass available online. And so much to see and do. You know, it really does take a long time to get through that show. So we've extended hours this year. We've, we're open earlier on Friday. We're open later on Saturday. Good. And yes, the parking's free. 
So, you know, adjust your schedule, come on out, and um, we really think that we're going to have a great turnout. Because we have to remind you, it's the weekend only. So it's I'm good three on days. you for, it's just for extending days. your time. Because yes. I know that was a demand-based thing. Mm-hmm. A lot of yes, people were saying we want we, longer. We heard it longer. loud and clear, and we're open earlier, Excellent. and we're open later. So here's what we got. We got some tickets, everybody. And uh, so we're going to give them in pairs, of course, because you're going to go with somebody. So we got 10 pairs, thanks to Cottage Life, and Sharon brought these down with us. They're going to be at Will Call. Here's what we're going to do. We want you to go ahead uh, and visit realestatetalkshow.ca. You have to ask a question, anything to do with cottaging, anything to do with Sharon, because we'll get Sharon to actually answer them. So what we're going to do is pick the best ones, and of course, we'll make sure that Sharon answers them, or we find an expert to answer your cottage questions. Could be relating to, you know, real estate, docks, septics, roofing, you name it. Go ahead and submit that question, and we're going to pick the top uh, 10, or we say the best 10 questions, Perfect. and we'll make sure we answer them. And, of course, we'll have these available. We'll reach out to you, contact you, saying that, of course, you've got tickets, and we'll put them at will call for you uh, with your name on them. All right? So I think that's Fantastic. a great idea. Love it. So for people to learn more about the show, because they could be in that mm-hmm. contemplation stage, they can see the exhibitors and, and find out more by visiting the yeah, website. visit our website. It's cottagelife.com slash shows. And um, that's where you'll be able to buy tickets online. You can do your research about the features. The full exhibitor list is there. And um, you can do a search. So let's say you, you want to see how many builders are going to be at the show. Well, hey, we'll tell you. There's going to be more than 30 at the show. Right. Um, we can really help you plan your visit that way. There you go. So plan ahead. Plan ahead. The website is? www.cottagelife.com show. Excellent. Great to see you. Thank you.